lessons 11.4 and 11.5 for honors geometry. So today we're going to go into circles. We've been dealing a lot with polygons, but now we're going to talk more about circles. And specifically, we're going to learn about the circumference, the arc length, the areas of circles, and of sectors. So the first slide, circumference and arc length. Theorem 11.8, this is something that you guys have known for a long time, so I know this isn't any new, but we actually have a theorem for the circumference of a circle, and that is that the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter, or 2 pi r, where r is your radius. So those are your two formulas for finding the circumference of a circle. <clears throat> now we have a corollary, and remember corollaries are things that are easily proved from a previous theorem or they're kind of like a mini theorem. And our arc length corollary states that in a circle, the ratio of the length of a given arc to the circumference is equal to the ratio of the measure of the arc to 360 degrees. So we have an equation for that. So for example, we would set this up as arc length AB. And when we're talking about the arc length, let's take a look at this circle here. We are specifically talking about what is the length of arc AB? We've talked previously about the measure of arc AB, but now we want to know what is its length. And the way that we find its length is we set up the ratio right here, where arc length of AB divided by 2 pi r, which is the circumference, this is your circumference of your circle, equals the measure of your arc divided by 360 degrees, and that's how many degrees are in a circle. So that's how we're going to use or that's the ratio that we're going to use to solve problems in lesson 11.4. So let's go to an example of this. For example, we need to find the measure of arc AB and we're given the following information. So we have an arc length of 40 units and we know the radius which is 15.28. So let's go ahead and set up our ratio. So our arc length which is 40 over our circumference, so that would be 2 pi times 15.28 will equal our measure of arc AB over 360 degrees. So when you plug that into your calculator, oops I forgot to close my parentheses there, you're going to have 40 times 360 divided by 2 pi r. So when you do that, and let's go ahead and write out the equation here. So you'd have 40 times 360 degrees divided by 2 pi times our radius. So our we're dividing by our circumference here. That equals the measure of arc AB. And once you plug that into your calculator, you'll see that the measure of arc AB is about 150 degrees. So that's how you're going to use the arc length corollary to solve. And you could also have solved for the arc length if we were given the measure of the arc. So it's interchangeable depending on what pieces of information that you're given. Okay, let's move on to the next theorems. So we are going to now talk about an area of a circle and of a sector. Area of a circle I know you guys are familiar with, but the theorem states that the area of a circle is pi times the square of the radius. So area equals pi r squared. You guys are very familiar with this equation. Now we're going to talk about a sector, and first of all, what is a sector? The sector is a region of a circle that is bounded by two radii of the circle, so they have to be bounded by the radius, by two radii, and the intercepted arc. So we have a theorem about sectors and the area of sectors. And this is theorem 11.10. So this theorem states that the ratio of the area of a sector of a circle to the area of the entire circle, which is pi r squared, is equal to the ratio of the measure of the intercepted arc to 360 degrees. So that's what this equation looks like when we set up our proportion. Area of our sector of APB, and we're going to use this circle right here, over the area of the circle equals the measure of arc AB over 360 degrees. So what's that saying is that if we were to shade this region right here, kind of color this in, 
we're finding the area of this region here. Because remember, our sector is the area that's bounded by two radii. So these would be two different radii right here of the circle. They have the same length because they're both radi they're both a radius of the same circle. And then they're bounded also by the arc AB. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this theorem into practice. So we want to find the area of sector APB. And we're given the following information. So we're going to set up our ratio and we are finding the area of the sector. So we want to know what APB equals. We're going to put that over our area of the circle, which is pi times our radius squared, equals the measure of our arc, so 120 degrees, over the measure of the entire circle, which is 360 degrees. So when you set up your equation to solve for the area of APB, you would get 120 times the area of our circle, so pi times 14 squared, all divided by 360 degrees. When you plug that into your calculator, you find that the area of APB is approximately 205 units. Okay, so that is it for today. It's a very short lesson um, that we went over for both lessons 11.4 and 11.5. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.